Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's the season of flying to summer internships. I know, super early, but a lot of these big tech companies open their applications a year in advance. It's crazy. If you're dreaming of getting a tech internship from one of the world's biggest tech companies, you're in the right place. Today, I'll share my journey of how I got my Amazon SDE internship in Vancouver. I'm going to break down exactly how I did it from the interview process, the OA, and after the offer, what happens. In the tech world, getting an internship is no small feat and especially at Amazon. And with only 250 SDEs in Vancouver and a 1-5% to acceptance rate, it can be really challenging. So this is my quick timeline. August 10th, I applied to Amazon. This was one of the very first companies I applied to for summer internships. August 29th is when I received the email for the OA and I was really excited. This was the very first email for an OA that I ever got. September 10th is when I actually did the OA and it was a huge relief. I was pretty stressed about it. And also I wasn't really sure if I did that well, so I was glad to get it over with. October 19th is when I was supposed to have my interview, but it got rescheduled to November 4th. So I probably got the email that I got an interview about a week or two before. November 14th is when I was waitlisted and I didn't hear back until February 14th and that's when I got my offer. I'll get into the details of each step. So first it's the OA. So this was my very first OA and here's what I did to prepare. So going in, I knew that there was going to be technical questions I needed to answer on hacker rank and also there was going to be a work style assessment. To prepare for the technical portion, I mostly just did leak code practice and I also did a few hacker rank questions. And after doing the Amazon OA, I think that the hacker rank style of questions more closely align with the OA questions. For the behavioral part, I looked at mostly the leadership principles. I just read through them and then also I went online and found this YouTube video of this guy explaining, like going through like a mock quiz answering leadership principle style questions. So this is how the OA turned out. I don't actually remember the exact technical questions I got, but I do remember that one of them was dynamic programming style, which at that point I hadn't learned about. The other one was a string manipulation type question. And from other people talking to other people, there is usually like one medium, one hard Amazon question. For the work style assessment, I was going into it thinking that it was gonna be like answering emails by priority, something that I had heard about online, but it was more of a survey type question, seeing how your work style aligns with their leadership principles. Like you just answer questions that you closely aligned with. I don't, um, for example, it'll be like, you like to work in a group or you like to work on your own, which one do you like more? And then you just answer it, keeping in mind the leadership principles. When I actually got an email from Amazon that I was gonna do an interview with them, I was really shook. <laughs> I thought that I didn't do that well on the OA and I hadn't heard from them at all since like September. I just thought that was in the past and I was already doing interviews with other companies. So I thought that it was kind of funny that I got an interview with them. For the leak code questions, I watched a lot of neat code and I focused on the 150 leak code questions and specifically the ones that were more Amazon geared. Also, that's a bit of like, a gamble because it really depends on the interviewer what question they ask you they can just ask any question but sometimes Amazon or Google or Microsoft they'll have certain styles of questions that they like to ask more of I also prepared a lot for the behavioral component I know that Amazon focuses a lot on leadership principles on top of the technical experience but they ask a lot of questions and they really want to to answer it using the star method like in the email it will say like practice behavioral questions with the STAR method. The STAR method is situation, task, action, result. And I think that this was actually a very valuable part of my preparation because I used it in the future to other interviews as well. And I'm, I keep all my documentation I wrote about how I'm gonna answer these questions in a Notion doc so I can refer to it in the future. I basically sat in front of a mirror and like practice my responses to these questions so many times. Some of the questions are like, tell me about a time you solved the pain point for a customer. Tell me about a time you made a bold and difficult decision. And a 
lot of these questions are gearing you to answer in a leadership principle way. You don't have to come up with a story for every single leadership principle. A lot of the times your stories can be like twisted and turned to different leadership principles. The interview experience. This was a big day for me. I was freaking out. I was freaking out the night before. I was freaking out the day of. I was also really sick and I lost my voice. <laughs> I think it was from all the stress. This interview was done using Amazon Chime. There were some technical glitches. Amazon Chime did not work in the beginning and then I had to restart my computer and finally the audio would work. I was really stressed out because I was actually like five minutes late into the interview because of this. The interview went extremely well. I was really nervous but I felt like the interviewer was so kind and just made it really comfortable for me to answer questions. I have to say that a big part of how well you do an interview is just the interviewer. If they're very nice, if they're really friendly, it can make the process a lot easier and it can make your answers just feel like more important. Sometimes if they're not very responsive, it can feel like your answers are stupid and that just like shatters your confidence a little bit. I was most nervous for the technical part of the interview. I was really nervous that I was going to choke or just like my brain was not gonna work. I think I overestimated how difficult it was gonna be. The most important part is just explain the process. And another big thing is you don't actually code it in an ID that works. Like it's basically like a Google Doc. You just code it in like a fake little thing. You can't run it. So yeah, you just explain your process, talk about some test cases, talk about where you can improve your program and maybe where it doesn't work and then for the rest of the time we just talked about Amazon culture and what his job was like what he was working on things like that it was really nice and he was a really really nice person I feel like it was a big factor in why I got the internship because he was so sweet <laughs> shortly after my interview 10 days I was waitlisted which was expected because I had been seeing a bunch of people on reddit saying that they were waitlisted comparing the emails that they got like this is the email that I got where I was waitlisted this is the email that you get if you've been rejected. When I got the email, I wasn't surprised. I was like, oh, I, I knew I was gonna be waitlisted, but I was actually really happy that I was, I got the waitlist email and I didn't get the rejection email. I probably spent the few weeks after the waitlist email, like religiously checking Reddit, seeing like if anybody had a status update. Near February, I started hearing some rumors about people moving forward, like getting offers. And then one day I just checked my portal where you see your application status and I saw that my application had moved to Victoria and I was like oh I see I think something might be happening here and I was like getting really excited but I don't want to say anything and then the next morning I get this email that I have an offer to work in Victoria which is really cool I was so happy but I was also like I'm not sure if I want to work in Victoria I feel like there's probably less interns there and I just want to be closer to home so I did ask to relocate to Vancouver and I'm so glad I did I think that there was so many more people here and from what I heard Heard, there isn't that many interns in Victoria and I think it's a much smaller site than Vancouver obviously. I think that it is possible if you want to get your location changed to just talk to your recruiter and they can help you move to a different team. Also another thing that happens when you get your offer is you can choose between 12 and 16 weeks. I feel like a longer time will get you to know your team a lot better and obviously increase your chances of getting a return offer. That's what I was thinking okay if I am here for 16 weeks it's probably better I'm more likely to get my project done I'm more likely to make a good impression on my team so that's why I decided to go with 16 weeks I really wish that I recorded my reaction <laughs> when I saw the email because I was so excited I honestly found it kind of unbelievable and it was the very first place that I applied to that summer for internships. It's very interesting because I did a lot of other interviews with other small companies, some startup, older companies, some very small companies, and I didn't get a lot of yeses from them. And it's really interesting to me that I did get an offer from Amazon when they didn't want me. I think that it's really cool that I got to have this experience at Amazon and I'm actually near the end of my internship at this point. I've had such a fun experience at Amazon meeting all the other interns, meeting my team. Um, I'm in a really fun organization. I think that this has been such a valuable experience and I'm so excited to share it with you. If you 
are interested in a Amazon intern experience video, let me know in the comments. I'll definitely be making one. I hope that your intern applications go well, your interviews go smoothly. I know that I'm going to be starting to apply to new grad places soon as well. So we're going to be back on that lead code grind. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Like this video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.